the excitement around your visit, Holy Father, must be attributed not only to your role as Pope. Because this is a country traumatized by scandals of child sexual abuse by priests covered up by the Catholic Church. The common law, second common law court of justice um, session convened. The first one, if you recall, the one that convicted Joseph Ratzinger and Queen Elizabeth uh, for crimes against humanity in Canada, the genocide of indigenous people there. That, uh, that led into the second case having to do with global child trafficking. Pope Francis did something today no other pope has done. He wrote directly to all of the world's Catholics about the sex abuse scandal. He said the church had abandoned its children, begged victims for forgiveness, and he said the church must spare no effort to root out predator priests. He came over to the center of the room and he had each each of the people that were swearing that day, I had to go forward and kneel before him and kiss the train and swear my allegiance to the new new order, to the new world order. The Roman Catholic Church, which was the only game in town until the Reformation for all practical purposes, has had and is known to have had problems of sexual violation of minors, women, vulnerable women, vulnerable men. Days after the church was rocked by the release of the Pennsylvania Grand Jury Report, it detailed the abuse over decades of hundreds of children by priests. The chief defendants being uh, Jorge Bagaglio, uh, President Pope Francis, uh, Adolfo Pachon, the head of the Jesuits, and Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury in England. I see the Bible, both Old and New Testament, as documents uh, put into the world politically and religiously, but especially politically, uh, by very powerful secret society, the paternal orders. The two children were, but there were also three adults that went forward and did the same. And afterwards, um, we were told, may the same to you or worse occur should you ever break this oath. This is a wake-up call for everyone about the importance of the issue of, of sex abuse. The Pope, in a letter this week, called the abuse a crime. In Ireland, some are critical. There was absolutely not one single concrete proposal in that letter as to how he intended to root out the evil of child sexual abuse. So all words, no actions. All words, no actions. The court has had to operate under conditions of secrecy and confidentiality because of threats being made to them and also uh, from information we were given from Rome. We showed no care for the little ones. Pope wrote, we abandoned them. Nearly a week after the release of a sweeping Pennsylvania grand jury investigation, the Pope condemned the atrocities suffered by at least a thousand minors at the hands of more than 300 clergy members over 70 years. With secret societies and Knights Templars and the, all of the different fraternal orders operating within the Catholic Church, there's some really serious stuff going on. Uh, and that department and secret society is operating in the Vatican. In 1984, because of the bravery of a man named Jason Berry, uh, who was an independent freelance journalist, who did a four-part series down there uh, for a small newspaper called the Times of Acadiana, which had a publisher who had the guts to stand up to the Catholic Church. I've gone through some ceremonies in my life in the Illuminati, you, you do go through them. But I have to say that in my experience this was the worst just because I can't explain the amount of darkness in a room like that, just this pure evil. Colm O'Gorman was there. A year and a half later I was raped for the first time by a Catholic priest. The Pope just needs to tell the truth that the Vatican directed uh, a deliberate cover-up of the uh, uh, rape and abuse of children. Mm -hmm. But they published a four-part series. And the four-part series focused on both dimensions of the sexual abuse issue. The first and most obvious dimension is the actual violation of boys, then, but let's say boys and girls, young women, young men. The actual sexual violation by members of the clergy. In the movie Zoro, you can get it still today and watch it. The whole movie of Zoro is about how secret societies connected to the Vatican were trying to overthrow the state of California when it was founded. You know, I was a reporter and a freelance writer in Rome, and I spent six years there, walked through the Vatican many, many times, covered the papal addresses, things like that. 
And during that time, I was there during a Vatican scandal, uh, which involved the church uh, bank and other things, uh, members of the Illuminati, the Freemasons. And it shows the secret society's meeting, the Masonic symbols and emblems, and listen to what they're talking about. They're talking about the sovereignty of the American people. But the more heinous, heinous dimension of this was what he brought up, and that was the institutionalized, organized cover-up by the hierarchy officials, the leadership because the leadership, the hierarchy, may be good, faithful, orthodox, royal Catholics, but they are not Christians. Well, the sovereignty of the California state citizen cannot be allowed, and that the government and the secret societies of Europe will not allow this, uh, this to go on. This, this idea of sovereignty and freedom of the American people has to be overthrown. So the Vatican is a very powerful institution, but it's the reason why it's so powerful and the reason why it's so pervasive is because it's Rome. It's the Rome of the Caesars. About 17 million American Catholic households donate an average of $10 each week, totaling about $9 billion every year. Francis Samber is a member of the survivor support group, SNAP. As a parishioner, it is your right to ask, where's my donation going? You have that right to ask that, and you should. The court decided that it was important to put out weekly bulletins, uh, summarizing some of the evidence that has been put forward by the prosecution now. And if you go back to the Roman Empire, you will find out it was a very powerful, dominating, uh, oppressive system of the government. And the Vatican, of course, is a political empire. It is political. It is a state among states.